So starting with the first question, who all have done the first one? Okay, only you are there, see. So what have you written in the first one? Name the kingdoms created by R.H. Whitaker and why Whitaker left viruses in his system of classification? Five kingdom system of classification created by R.H. Whitaker. Hmm. Whitaker left viruses in his system of classification because they possess characteristics of both living and non-living. Yes. And also, uh, whatever basis R.H. Whitaker used for the classification, None of the characteristics is found in what viruses. Viruses no such thing. Characteristic no hai. Na mode of nutrition hai, na uh, genetic material hai, and kya kehte hain usme basic structure nahi hai, structure of cell walls nahi hai. So in sare jitne bhi characteristic five characteristics were taken by Arish Whitaker, all the five characteristics were not present in what viruses. That is why he left viruses in his classification. Yours is uh, halfway correct, not fully. Okay. How is five kingdom classification advantages over two kingdom classification? This one is easy though. You can answer this one. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. In five kingdom system of classification, hmm. organisms are more homogeneous than they were placed in two kingdom system of classification. Yes. That means that in five kingdom system of classification, mein jo bhi organisms hai, they are more closely related and more easily classified. Okay? You told the correct answer. Now, the uh, third one. Explain the three domain system given by Carl Bos. In three domain system of organism are classified into three domains. They are Archaea bacteria, bacteria, eukarya. Very good. And uh, you have to explain a little bit in them. So, have you explained? Explain archaea bacteria. Not archaea bacteria, the three domain system. That is archaea, eukarya, and one was what? Bacteria. Archaea, bacteria, and eukarya. Three domain system, yes, ma'am. Yes. So, archaea, mein it includes kingdom, uh, sorry, it includes what? Archaea bacteria and uh, Bacteria may include what only kingdom monera and then eukarya includes three kingdom, uh, sorry, four kingdom, protista, fungi, and immigrant fungi. Now, next one, how do dinoflagellates differ from euglenoids? So, you were saying this, we haven't discussed. No, uh, I, I have supplied this one in discussion uh, folder if you have seen in your drive area, and we have little bit uh, discussion was there also in the class. So, what have you written in this? How do dinoflagellates differ from euglenoids? How they differ? Dinoflagellates, they are mostly marine and in the noise, they are fresh water from found in tangent water. Yes, so very good. They are always photoautotrophic and mm -hmm. uh, in the they may be photoautotrophic or heterotrophic. Third yes. point, normal polysaccharide cell wall and in the cell wall made up of cellulose. Yes, all the three are correct. If you have written only one also, then you will get also uh, the marks because this question was on, of only one marks. Huh? So there is no need to be afraid that you haven't written many points, okay? And uh, list out differences between monera and protesta. So what are the differences? Uh, Paika, you tell me what have you written in this monera and protesta difference? You have to write three differences. What have you written? Okay, Sana, what have you written? Monera and protesta. The first one is very easy though. Monera compromises unicellular microorganism, whereas mm -hmm. in protesta compromises both unicellular and multicellular organism. Okay, no. Monera comprises unicellular prokaryotic and protesta unicellular eukaryotic. And uh, second difference can be mode of nutrition. Uh, mode of nutrition kya hai? Monera mein mode of nutrition is various types. Basically, uh, three kind we have studied. And uh, protesta mein kya ho sakta hai? Mode of nutrition is of uh, only two kinds or we can say very uh, second or third one we can say ribosome because monera ka prokaryotic hai to ribosome 70 years hoga. And protesta is eukaryotic, so its ka ribos uh, ribosome kya hoga? ATS hoga. And phir, if you want to include any other uh, difference, like uh, between eukaryotic and uh, prokaryotic, so you can write various things, okay? Like uh, DNA, nucleic acids are present, and uh, all the cell organisms are present because monera has nothing in uh, uh, compared to protesta. Okay? Next is uh, six. What is the special feature of archaea How do these obtain food? So, how, what have you written in this one? Question number six. Okay, so what is the special feature? The special feature is what? They are able to live in what? Extreme environment where any other uh, living organism cannot survive. Extreme environment what? Like high temperature, high acidity, high pH value. Okay, and uh, uh, what? How are they able to tolerate high temperature? Because of what? Presence of lipid, branch chain of lipid was there in their cell membrane. I have explained us. Their cell wall is what? Having branch lipids. So this was the reason why they are able to survive. Next question is what? Uh, why members of class Deuteromycetes are considered the fungi imperfecti? How do they reproduce? What have you written? Why are they called as fungi imperfecti? 
Due to the mindsets are called fungi imperfectly as they have only asexual stages, this group of fungi is unable to undergo sexual reproduction. Yes, because in them sexual reproduction of any kind is absent. Therefore, they are called as what? Fungi imperfectly. And they reproduce through what? Asexual method of reproduction. Okay. Next is give a comparative account of what classes of kingdom fungi under the following. So you have to write, uh, I have explained it, under the characteristic of kingdom fungi, what is the mode of nutrition and mode of reproduction. So this one, I think I have explained well. List any three diseases. This one was also easy. You have to write all the four uh, three diseases of different classes of fungi. What are the four classes of fungi? Phycomycetes, Ascomycetes, Basidomycetes and Deuteromycetes. And all these four classes have diseases. So you have to write three diseases of each of the class. Have you written? No, ma'am. Okay, so uh, like phycomycetes causes what? Phycomycetes is divided into oomycetes and zy uh, zygomycetes. So oomycetes causes late blight of potato, one disease. Like this, you can uh, you have to write three three diseases of each class. So have you left this question? Ninth one. No, no, no. Which one answer is Okay, so you have written one disease ka naam likha hai nahi? I have explained the diseases now. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so no problem. You can do better next time. By the way, congratulations. You got 50 out of 50 in your first test. You got full marks. Have you seen? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so congratulations on that. See, some chapters are very easy. Some chapters are at the same time difficult. So don't need to worry. You have to make a few chapters your strong point so that you can know, uh, make no mistake in those chapters. Okay, uh, now coming to question number 10. How do viruses resemble non-living things like any five characteristics? that resemble to non-living things, right few characters that we resemble to living object also. So this one was very easy, I think so. We have studied this since my uh, seventh or eighth class. Have you written five characteristics that resemble to non-living things? Yes, okay. And uh, resembling to living objects, have you written those characters also? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Explain the structure of bacteriophage with diagram. So have you made the diagram of bacteriophage? This uh, like structure, like, yes, like okay. And what are their structure? Basically, they consist of what? Four type. One is envelope. Second is protein. Fourth, third is what? Genetic material. And fourth is what? They are having tail. Or tail fibers are there. Okay. If you have written in a paragraph also, then it is also right. If you have written by heading wise, then also it is right. Differentiate between what? Icto and endomycorrhiza. Right. Uh, also write about types of lichen. So I think this you have written. Yes, huh? ma'am. Okay. So we have discussed the paper. Now we will come to our regular classes. So I'm going to start with a new chapter today that is plant kingdom. What we are going to study in this uh, kingdom of is basis of classification, uh, algae, bryophytes and pteridophytes and then gymnosperms and angiosperms and their plant life cycle. This is basically what a uh, scientist has division kiya tha. In the scientist's name, I think uh, plant kingdom is boldly divided into what two types, cryptogamous and phenerogamous. So cryptogams may ye tino aate hain. These all three will come into what cryptogams later. I'll explain when I start the chapter. Cryptogamous and ye hain phenerogams. Phenerogams. So we will study in cryptogamous we will study alga, bryophyte, and pteridophyte, and in phenerogams we will study gymnosperm and angiosperm. Starting se we will see how evolution ya evolution in plant kingdom has taken place. Okay, from starting from algae, then bryophyte, then pteridophyte, then gymnosperm, and finally the angiosperm, which are present today. Okay, this is also indicating evolution throughout. So we will start with the first slide, which is type of classification system. Types of classification system. So basically, there are three types of classification systems. Just like we have biological classification, First came two kingdom system of classification, then three kingdom system of classification, then four, then five, and finally six. So with the time, type of classification system also evolved and changed. Pehle natural system tha, uh, sorry, pehle artificial system tha, then natural system hua, then or better aake phylogenetic system hua. So we will study all the three system of classification here. First was what artificial system, artificial system. Second is natural system, and the third one is what phylogenetic system, phylo. Genetic system. Plant kingdom may classify chemically plants. So the three systems were used. We will study first one that is artificial king system. Artificial system of classification. In this classification, we will see key, this classification is based on what? 
only one or very few morphological characters okay so they don't include many characters and they doesn't include uh, phylogeny they doesn't see any internal structure they just follow morphological structures like what i'm looking like uh, upon this i'm saying uh, this is a plant and this has leaf and the other plant is not having leaf so we will classify them this type of method was used in artificial system of classification okay so first point is what it is based on based on one or few morphological characters the next point is what since it is based on a uh, uh, few morphological character it is first system also so sabse pehla system diya kisne tha so this system was proposed by proposed by aristotle and linnaeus okay uh, earlier start karo when we were studying the dcl chapter that is biological classification aristotle divided what he divided animals like uh, animals and plants so aristotle did what he divided animals into two groups what was that group anaima and anaima yes anaima and anaima and plant into herbs shrubs and trees so this was the first attempt in uh, classification of plant kingdom so aristotle ke according plants kingdom were divided into herbs shrubs and trees and linnaeus ke according he divided plant based on what based on number of stamen stamens how many stamens are present in any of the plant he look into that feature or characteristic and then he divided the plants and since he used what a sexual character so linnaeus ka ye classification sexual system of classification bhi kehta tha hai okay also <coughs> called as what sexual system okay just give me one minute sama kam yes i'm back okay so what i was telling that how linnaeus divided the plants he took what the feature of stamen and stamen ka kya based on number of stamen a plant mein kitne stamen present hai on basis of that he divided plants so ye sexual character ko le rahe hain that is why it is also called as what sexual system of classification and dividing iske basis pe unhone kya kiya tha if one stamen is present in a, any plant then that plant those plants will be called as mono and rhea and if two stamens are present then they will be called as di and and rhea okay di and rhea see this is very primitive or very old type of classification and at that time many plants were not discovered also so jitne bhi plant us time pe present the unke basis pe linnaeus ne ye dekh ke kaha tha ki those who have one stamen they will be called as mono and rhea and those who possess two stamens they will be called as di and rhea so this system of classification uh, this was all about what artificial system of classification and this system has various demerits and i'll tell you the main demerit which will occur in this uh, artificial system of classification what was the demerit in this the main de uh, 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 demerit was that he since it is what based on morphological characters based on morphological character based on very few very few morphological characters many closely related uh, species of plant species of plants uh, were separated okay so let me explain this one since we are uh, dividing or we are uh, seeing only few morphological characters so bahut sare jo closely re uh, related species hain uh, plant kingdom ke they are getting separated in a way uh, let me explain by taking like if we are taking habitat any habitat and we see that all the flying animals uh, all the flying organism are what birds जितने भी फ्लाइंग ऑर्गेनिज्म है वो बर्ड्स हैं एंड क्या कहते हैं वी जितने भी फ्लाइंग एनिमल्स है दे आर वॉट बर्ड्स एंड इट विल इंक्लूड देन बैट ऑल्सो जितने भी फ्लाइंग ऑब्जेक्ट्स हैं बेस्ड ऑन हैबिटेट एंड अगर हम लोग बात करें एक्वेटिक की भी इट वी टॉक अबाउट एक्वेटिक एंड हियर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वॉट फ्लाइंग ठीक है हैबिटेट ऑर्गेनिज्म का ले रहे हैं तो एक्वेटिक में इट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एक्वेटिक तो जितने भी पानी में रहने वाले ऑर्गेनिज्म है दे विल बी वॉट फिशेज एंड ऑल्सो वेल्स वेल्स सी अब एक ही मॉर्फोलॉजिकल कैरेक्टर लेके वी हैव सीन व्हाट हैबिटेट की मॉर्फोलॉजिकल कैरेक्टर है एंड वी हैव डिवाइडेड व्हाट ऑल द फ्लाइंग एनिमल्स इंक्लूडेड बर्ड्स बैट्स एंड सम मेनी अदर ऑल एक्वेटिक एनिमल इंक्लूडेड व्हाट फिशेस व्हेल एंड मेनी अदर ऑर्गेनिज्म आल्सो बट हियर वी विल सी की दिस बैट एंड व्हेल दे आर व्हाट क्लोजली रिलेटेड दे आर व्हाट दे आर मैमल्स बट इस के एक मॉर्फोलॉजिकल कैरेक्टर की वजह से दे आर व्हाट डिस्टिंक्टली प्लेस दे आर प्लेस इन सेपरेट ग्रुप्स वन इज इन फ्लाइंग ग्रुप वन इज इन व्हाट एक्वेटिक ग्रुप So due to this, एक example ले रहे हैं ऐसे ही क्या हुआ था प्लांट्स के साथ हुआ था 
many plants were there and they were having very similar characteristics but jo aristotle and linnaeus ne unhone sirf ek ya do morphological character dekha and uske according division kiya to kya hua ki many closely related plant species were separated in that now you understood about this topic how this is a demerit understood like okay, okay. i was going to explain it once again so next uh, demerit is that ki inhone equal importance diya vegetative characters ko bhi equal importance diya and they gave equal importance to floral character it means jo floral characters hain they are equal to uh, vegetative characters but uh, let me write they gave equal importance to vegetative and floral characters ab dekho jo ye vegetative characters hote hain they are what susceptible to changes changes what changes according to environment they are susceptible let me write with some other color pen they are susceptible to changes in environment now agar dekho koi plant hai theek hai ye plant hai and jo bhi plant maan lo ye aquatic area mein hai and this plant is little bit outside the aquatic area means ye itna ye kya hai ye pani mein hai and ye ऊपर निकला होगा तो ये लीफ हो गए वेजिटेटिव कैरेक्टर्स होंगे तो ये लीफ क्या होगा बाहर की साइड होगा जो लैंड साइड में होगा दैट देयर लीव्स आर व्हाट वेल डेवलप्ड एंड लार्ज लीव्स बट जो एक्वेटिक साइड में होंगे अंदर पानी के अंदर होंगे देयर लीव्स विल बी व्हाट स्मॉल बिकॉज़ दे डोंट नीड मच वाटर एंड अब्जॉर्बेंस बिकॉज़ दे आर ऑलरेडी लिविंग इन वाटर सो ये वेजिटेटिव जो कैरेक्टर्स होते हैं ना दे आर ससेप्टिबल टू चेंज इन देयर एनवायरमेंट जैसा टाइप का एनवायरमेंट रहेगा दे विल अडॉप्ट देयर देमसेल्फ अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट एनवायरमेंट दैट इज व्हाई ये वेजिटेटिव कैरेक्टर ससेप्टिबल है एनवायरनमेंट के चेंज के एंड फ्लोरल कैरेक्टर्स इज व्हाट मच स्टेबल दिस इज स्टेबल एंड दिस डज नॉट चेंज अकॉर्डिंग टू द एनवायरनमेंट सो इन दोनों को इक्वल इंपॉर्टेंस देके दे हैव प्लेस्ड और दे हैव व्हाट डिवाइडेड द प्लांट किंगडम बाय गिविंग व्हाट इक्वल इंपॉर्टेंस टू दिस बाय गिविंग इक्वल इंपॉर्टेंस तो ये क्या हुआ गलत हो गया सो इन दिस वे दिस सिस्टम वाज प्रूव्ड एज अ डीमेरिट टू आर्टिफिशियल सिस्टम have you understood these two both uh, point because ye dono main demerit hai baki jo demerit hai wo to chote chote points hai okay understood about these two main demerits tana aur uh, okay so i will explain the next this uh, next one was natural system yes natural system of classification so natural system of classification this system was given by what proposed by bentham and hooker proposed by bentham and hooker they have proposed the system that is why this system is also called as what bentham and hooker's classification system classification system okay to dono ek hi cheez hai agar ye aaye to is type tab bhi ye rahega and natural system puchha gaya to bhi ye rahega proposed by them and they used every single characteristics like they used ultra structure ultra structure of plant cells they used uh, uh we can say phytochemistry of the plants phytochemistry of the plants they use anatomy of the plant also anatomy of plants they used uh embryology of the plant also basically they use everything for their classification embryology of plant okay so ye system us time tak bahut acha prevail kar raha tha it was very well accepted by everywhere and this system was uh used for a certain period of time also they have used what everything ultra structure of plant cell was also included phytochemistry included anatomy of plant was also included and embryology of the plant was also included but the main demerit which caused this uh, system to get uh, replaced by new system was that demerit was ki inhone har ek cheez ko use kar liya but they didn't use they did not use phylogeny of the plants okay you know the phylogeny in here phylogeny means what evolutionary relationship of the plant evolutionary relationship of plants so they didn't take this phylogeny into consideration iske wajah se kya hua inhone jo plant ko place kiya hua tha na they have placed the plant misplacing them like hamara jo evolution system hai wo kya hai algae then bryophyte then pteridophyte then gymnosperm and then angiosperm but according to them but according to them them matlab bentham and hooker unhone kya kiya tha they placed dicotyledons and monocotyledons and in between gymnosperms so this placing was not right not right why because we know ki jo gymnosperm hai pehle yahi evolve hua tha by looking at their phylogeny phylogeny mein kya hai ye kya hota hai seedless hota hai iska seed ke paas kya hota hai sorry seed ki covering nahi hoti 
नो सीड कवरिंग नो सीड कवरिंग इसके पास नेकेड सीड होता है बट डाइकॉट के पास भी सीड कवरिंग होता है मोनोकॉट्स के पास सीड कवरिंग होता है सो एवोल्यूशनरी रिलेशनशिप देखा जाए तो दिस वॉज ही सपोज टू बी फॉलोड बट उन्होंने क्या किया जिम्नोस्कॉम को डाइकॉट्स और मोनोकॉट्स के बीच में रख दिया सो इनका जो क्लासिफिकेशन था प्लेसिंग जो उन्होंने किया था प्लांट का वो गलत हो गया एंड दैट इज वाई ये सिस्टम भी क्या हुआ नहीं चला एंड दिस सिस्टम ऑल्सो वर्ट रिप्लेस बाई द नेक्स्ट सिस्टम विच इज वॉट फाइलोजेनेटिक सिस्टम ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन फाइलोजेनेटिक सिस्टम of classification see there there are many demerits i'm just taking only important demerits okay phylogenetic system of classification now this system of classification was all over perfect perfect kyun tha because it includes phylogeny that is phyletics of every plants and according to that classification is being done and according to that now what we are studying nowadays is according to phylogenetic system of classification a plant kaise starting se lekar ke now what is evolved hua hai that includes phylogenetic system of classification so it includes was it is based on based on phylogeny 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 is also called as what this one is also called as phyletics okay phyletics why are we saying phyletics because this is using phylogeny system and iske uh, phylogenetic system mein kya hua tha organism jo सेम टैक्सा से बिलोंग करते थे या सेम कैटेगरी के बिलोंग करते थे दे शेयर वॉट कॉमन एनसेस्टर्स सो ईच एंड एवरी ऑर्गेनिज्म प्लेस इन द राइट प्लेसेस ऑर्गेनिज्म बिलोंग इन टू सेम टैक्सा टैक्सा वॉट आर ऑर्गेनिज्म बिलोंगिंग टू सेम टैक्सा शेयर कॉमन फीचर्स या कॉमन एनसेस्टर्स ओके नाउ सी लाइक की वी नो कि जब भी कोई भी प्लांट इवॉल्व हुआ होगा वो स्टार्ट कैसे हुआ होगा एलगी से तो एलगी क्या है ये कॉमन एनसेस्टर्स है नाउ एलगी के डिवीजन में तुम पढ़ोगे इसके पास क्या है कुछ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स आगे जाके ये चीज बायोफाइल्स में मिलेंगे इसके कुछ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स विल बी मैचिंग टू वॉट से एनजीओस्कॉमी प्लांट्स सो स्टार्ट इवोल्यूशन कहाँ से हुआ एलगी से सो दैट इज वाई वेन वी आर स्टडिंग दिस फायलोजेनेटिक सिस्टम सो जितने भी ऑर्गेनिजम है जो सेम टैक्सा को बिलोंग करते हैं दे विल शेयर वॉट दे विल शेयर कॉमन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स और कॉमन एनसेस्टर्स and in this system use of fossil records fossil records of fossil uh, remains ka bhi use hota hai for this classification and family tree bhi banayi jati hai family tree this uh, is system ke baad family tree bhi banayi ja sakti hai kisi bhi organism ka ki how that organism has been evolved family tree is based on phylogeny phylogeny and jab phylogeny ka use karke jo फाइलोजेनी का यूज करके जब भी कोई फैमिली ट्री बनाया जाता है तो उसको हम लोग बोलते हैं क्लैडोग्राम क्लैडोग्राम इज व्हाट द फैमिली ट्री फॉर्म बाय यूजिंग फाइलोजेनी ओके जब फाइलोजेनी का यूज करके जो भी हम लोग फैमिली ट्री बनाएंगे दैट फैमिली ट्री विल बी कॉल्ड एज वॉट क्लैडोग्राम ओके एंड फैमिली ट्री कब बनाई जा रही है फाइलोजेनेटिक सिस्टम ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन के अकॉर्डिंग एंड दिस सिस्टम ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन वॉज प्रपोज बाय इट वॉज प्रपोज बाय मेनी साइंटिस्ट प्रपोज by uh, proposed by Hutchinson, proposed by uh, Takas, Takazan, and it was also proposed by uh, Angel, Angel and Prandtl. Okay, so these all scientists together uh, formed this system of classification. And in this, the scientist is now this one, this scientist, this Takazan. He firmly believed that phylogeny के बिना कोई भी जो classification है वो कम्प्लीट हो ही नहीं सकता बिकॉज विदाउट यूजिंग एनी फाइलोजेनेटिक सिस्टम कोई भी क्लासिफिकेशन कम्प्लीट नहीं है तो इन्होंने एक फेमस स्टेटमेंट दिया था टेक्सोनॉमी विदाउट फाइलोजेनी इज बोर्न विदाउट फ्लैश ये इनका स्टेटमेंट कभी कहीं पूछा नहीं जाता आई जस्ट हैपन टू रिमेम्बर दिस एंड ये बहुत सीरियसली बिलीव करते थे कि जब भी किसी भी प्लांट किंगडम या किसी भी प्लांट को क्लासीफाई करना है विदाउट फाइलोजेनी दैट कैन नॉट बी डन दैट इज वाई ही इंसिस्टेड या ही गेव द स्टेटमेंट एक्सोनॉमी विदाउट फाइलोजेनी इज लाइक बोन विदाउट फ्लैश ओके मीन इट इज इनकम्प्लीट ओके सो बेसिकली इट इज ऑल्सो हैविंग सम डी मेरिट्स बट दैट डी मेरिट्स आर वेरी स्मॉल सो ये कंसिडर नहीं होता है दिस सो डू यू हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑल दीज थ्री सिस्टम ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन See, we will see here the advantages and disadvantages of every system. Artificial, natural, and phylogenetic. किसी को कोई problem है इसमें? Are you having any doubt in understanding artificial system, natural system, and uh, phylogenetic system? See, basically, artificial system क्या है? It is based on one or few morphological characters. इसमें थोड़े जो सामने आपको के दिख रहा है that characteristic they are taking and they are dividing the plants. But the merits क्या है? They are not taking any internal uh, characteristic. They are not considering any phylogenetic relationship. 
सो ड्यू टू द रिजल्ट ऑफ विच जो बहुत क्लोजली रिलेटेड स्पीशीज है वो भी सेपरेटली क्लेज हो गए हैं ओके नेचुरल सिस्टम में क्या है दे आर यूजिंग एवरी सिंगल कैरेक्टर लाइक अल्ट्रास्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द सेल इंड्रियोलॉजी वी कैन से अल्ट्रास्ट्रक्चर इंड्रियोलॉजी एंड अदर कैरेक्टर्स लाइक फाइलोजन इज नॉट एक्सेप्ट फॉर द फाइलोजन दे आर यूजिंग एवरी सिंगल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द सेल एंड यस फाइटोकेमिस्ट्री एनाटोमी दीज ऑल थिंग्स वर देयर सो इनका एक ही डिमेरिट है एंड दैट द बिगेस्ट डिमेरिट वॉज वॉट कि इन्होंने फाइलोजेनी को यूज नहीं किया एंड ड्यू टू the uh, not using this phylogeny system they have misplaced the plants in different group jo bhi plant ka evolutionary chart hota hai wo evolutionary chart is system ke according nahi fit baith raha tha so that is why this system got a demerit and replaced now phylogenetic system mein kya hai they use the phylogeny that is evolutionary relationship of any plant with their ancestors and inse related family tree bhi banayi jati hai and that family tree is called what cladogram <coughs> this system was proposed by three or four different kind of scientists that is hutchinson takazan and uh, prantel and engler so these four scientists all together kya kehte hain proposed ki hain is system ko and uh, <clears throat> till date this system is going on and many scientists follow this system only now are you able to understand every topic so that i can move forward do you have any problem sana or kurban sana pai or kurban are you having any problem in understanding any of these three system of classification no okay so i'm going to move forward in the slide here we will see the details i've just explained the main main point over there so first one is artificial system of classification and it was based on comparison of one or more two superficial morphological characters okay this was helpful in what easy and the identification of organism pehle ke zamane mein zyada plant wagera ka discovery nahi hua tha and that is why it was easy method to classify every plants and uh, About 2000 years ago, so ये बहुत दो हजार साल पहले की बात है Now we have more advanced system. Advantages क्या है Advantages are it was easy to remember क्योंकि एक या दो ही character को लिया ही जाता था and traits were interested to human. Humans के uh, interest के according ही वो अपने traits को choose करते थे Like अगर उन्हें red color पसंद आ गया plant को तो वो देवी classify plant on the basis of color. कुछ को पसंद आ गया कि क्या कहते हैं लीफ का स्ट्रक्चर तो वो लोग क्लासीफाई द प्लांट बेस्ड ऑन देयर स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ लीफ सो वो डिपेंड करता था ह्यूमन इंटरेस्ट पे कि वट एवर ट्रेड्स दे आर यूजिंग सो ये उस टाइम पे ह्यूम के लिए बेनिफिशियल था डिस एडवांटेजेस में दे यूज ओनली फ्यू सुपरफिशियल कैरेक्टर विच मे बी कॉमन इन मेनी ऑर्गेनिज्म जो कि साथ में ग्रुप कर गए हैं ओके दे कंसिडर मेनली वेजिटेटिव कैरेक्टर एज गिवेन बाई लीनियस सो so, इन्होंने क्या कि इक्वल इंपॉर्टेंस दिया था अगेन वेजिटेटिव कैरेक्टर एंड फ्लोरल कैरेक्टर को इक्वल इंपॉर्टेंस दिया था और लीनियस ने वेजिटेटिव कैरेक्टर को ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट दे दिया इट डज नॉट डेमोस्ट्रेट नेचुरल एंड फाइलोजेनेटिक रिलेशनशिप एज यूजल इन्होंने इस चीज को कंसिडर ही नहीं किया था दे गेव इक्वल वेटेज दिस वन रिप्रोडक्टिव एंड सेक्शुअल कैरेक्टर और वेजिटेटिव कैरेक्टर दोनों को इक्वल वेटेज दिया गया था एंड इट सेपरेटेड वॉट क्लोजली रिलेटेड स्पीशीज मैंने दो स्टेटमेंट डिमेरिट्स का दिया है विच हैव इंक्लूडेड ऑल दीज फोर पॉइंट इन दम so i have given two point and it is written four point here natural system it is also known as phenetic system and it is based on natural affinities like what phytochemistry structure anatomy embryology and ultra structure of cell etc etc advantages kya tha related organism ek group mein the unrelated organism ek group mein the natural relationship dikha raha tha and organism ke andar possible origin ek taxa ka kahan se hua hai ye bhi kuch kuch zahir ho raha tha but disadvantages kya hai more emphasis kiya diya gaya tha natural characters pe diya gaya tha our phylogenetic character pe koi importance nahi diya gaya tha this system several related what several related families are separated and unrelated families are put together uh, that ye statement jo hai na wo isi ke bare mein hai this dike or gymnosperm and monos, uh, monocot wale mein theek hai ki jo closely related species hain wo alag ho gaya that is phylogenetic system se alag ho gaya tha aur ye dono kya hua इन दोनों का एक साथ होना चाहिए ये एंजियोस्पॉन के बीच में जिम्नोस्पॉन आ गया था तो दैट वाज अ होल डिफरेंट वी कैन से अ रॉन्ग प्रोसेस एवोल्यूशनरी बेसिस नहीं यूज हुआ था फाइलोजेनेटिक सिस्टम इज व्हाट इट इज इंडिकेटिंग द एवोल्यूशनरी रिलेशनशिप एज वेल एज द जेनेटिक रिलेशनशिप मींस हाउ दे हैव इवॉल्व फ्रॉम सिंगल सेल टू मल्टी सेलुलर सेल एंड फ्रॉम मल्टी सेलुलर टू होल ऑर्गेनिज्म ओके इट इज बेस्ड ऑन द रिकॉर्ड ऑफ फॉसिल फ्यूल ऑल्सो एनाटॉमिकल मॉर्फोलॉजिकल साइकोलॉजिकल इंड्रियोलॉजिकल जेनेटिक स्टडीज मीन्स इट इज इंक्लूडिंग एवरी सिंगल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ अ प्लांट टू आइडेंटिफाई इट एंड टू क्लासीफाई इट देन एडवांटेजेस वर वॉट एडवांटेजेस आर फैमिलीज एंड ऑर्डर इन दिस सिस्टम आर ऑफ स्मॉल साइज क्योंकि हर एक प्लांट एंड एनिमल को प्रॉपरली प्लेस किया गया था जो फैमिली एंड ऑर्डर फॉर्मेशन हुआ वो छोटे होने लगे 
एंड दिस सिस्टम इज इन कंफर्मेशन विद वॉट मॉडर्न व्यूज फाइलोजेनिक आज का जो नॉर्मल मॉडर्न व्यू है दिस सिस्टम इज गोइंग अलॉन्ग विद दैट मॉडर्न व्यू दे यूज इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम वेरियस रिसोर्सेज रिसोर्सेज वॉट कि स्टार्टिंग से जो इन्होंने अल्ट्रास्ट्रक्चर भी लिया इम्ब्रियोलॉजी भी लिया एवोल्यूशनरी भी गए एंड रिलेशन इन्होंने बनाया एंड इवन दे हैव टेकन फॉसिल एविडेंसेस सो ये बहुत सारा रिसोर्स को लेकर के कोई भी प्लांट का एक फैमिली थी तैयार करने में हेल्पफुल है दे आर सपोर्टिंग वॉट फॉसिल एविडेंसेज ऑल्सो नाउ डिसएडवांटेजेस डिसएडवांटेज ऑफ फाइलोजेनिटिक सिस्टम इज दैट इट इज नॉट हेल्पफुल इन प्लांट आइडेंटिफिकेशन एज प्लांट आर आइडेंटिफाइड मेनली ऑन मॉर्फोलॉजिकल कैरेक्टर्स सो ये जो एक डिसएडवांटेज दिखता है ना प्लांट का बेसिकली आइडेंटिफाइड मिलियन मॉर्फोलॉजी कहते हैं इट इज नॉट बेसिकली डिसएडवांटेज बिकॉज नाउ अ डेज प्लांट सिर्फ मॉर्फोलॉजी कैरेक्टर पे नहीं डिवाइड होते हैं सो उसमें क्या होता है नॉर्मली कोई एक नॉन साइंटिफिक पर्सन है और एनी ह्यूमन नॉर्मल ह्यूमन इज ओनली एबल टू क्लासीफाई एनी प्लांट बेस्ड ऑन मॉर्फोलॉजिकल कैरेक्टर बट वेन वी वॉन्ट टू स्टडी एनी प्लांट एंड इट्स रिलेशनशिप एंड इट्स हिस्ट्री वी विल ऑलवेज यूज दिस फाइलोजेनेटिक सिस्टम ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन so for normal person it is a demerit but for a nor without any normal person or for those who want to study scientific uh, plant study they will find it uh, they will not find any disadvantages in the system now we will see quickly in this figure how plants are classified okay so plant kingdom is classified into what cells and tissues not highly organized it will include algae and uh, cells and tissues which have organized functional structure but they are having some are having vascular tissue and some are not having vascular tissue so no vascular tissue will be include bryophyte vascular tissues then again dispersed by spores and dispersed by seed spores wale kis mein hai pteridophytes mein hai and those who are getting dispersed by seed again seed ke basis pe hua hai seed not include that is naked seed gymnosperm and seed includes uh, enclosed angiosperm isme ek division na um, point to karti hu this plant kingdom was divided based on uh, here let me explain this plant kingdom we have divided what based on the characters two character like uh, cryptogam cryptogamous and phenedogamous the starting yahan se hua phene phene to gamous okay so gamous itself means gamous means what it basically means marriage marriage here and here also marriage now what does mean uh, about this crypto crypto and phenero crypto means what uh, we can say in exposed marriage or not exposed or here phenero means exposed marriage here in exposed and here exposed okay so exposed uh, in exposed or exposed is related to what seed so here seed or koi physical structure means koi body differentiation is uh, not been seen here no body differentiation is seen and here full body differentiation is been seen that is why they are said to be exposed or phenerogams and they are said to be what cryptogams and they will include all the three algae bryophyte and pteridophyte and they will include gymnosperm gymno and algae okay ab fir isme bhi kaise kaise division hai we have seen here jiske cells or tissue highly organized nahi hai means they do not have proper body structure means thyroid body hai they will be what algae they are having what tissue and organized structure but kisi mein vascular tissue nahi hai kisi mein vascular tissue hai jisme vascular tissue nahi hai those will be called as bryophyte those who have vascular tissue are further subdivided into what which are division by spores and which are dispersed by seed spores wale kon hai pteridophyte and seed wale kon hai again jiske paas naked seed hai that is gymnosperm and which have seed enclosed that is angiosperm till here are you having any doubt in the classification system this one slide one point is completed types of classification system are you having any doubt in this one we will quickly cover the other one okay this one is very small so types of taxonomy means it is basically what other ब्रांचेस ऑफ टेक्सोनोमी प्लांट्स को ही डिवाइड करने के लिए कुछ और ब्रांचेस का इस्तेमाल किया है मीन्स दे हैव यूज सेवरल अदर ब्रांचेस ऑफ टेक्सोनॉमी फॉर क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ प्लांट्स दीज आर न्यूमेरिकल टेक्सोनॉमी साइको टेक्सोनॉमी एंड नो टेक्सोनॉमी ओके सो फर्स्ट पे विल स्टडी वॉट न्यूमेरिकल टेक्सोनॉमी न्यूमेरिकल टेक्सोनॉमी इज बेस्ड ऑन वॉट फेनेटिक्स मीन्स फेनोटाइप और वी कैन से नंबर न्यूमेरिकल टेक्सोनॉमी फर्स्ट पॉइंट इट इज बेस्ड ऑन फेनेटिक्स genetics that is number numbers second point we can say ki in the family tree numbers pe based those ho sakti hai isse bhi family tree can be made family tree based on phenotypes okay that is same species are in the same group okay this one is not that important mm, okay so jo ye family tree they are uh, based on phenotypes means the family tree which are being formed using numbers that uh, they are called as dendrogram 
डेंडोग्राम क्लाइडोग्राम क्या थी वो फैमिली ट्री फाइलोजेनेटिक सिस्टम यानी कि एवोल्यूशनरी रिलेशन रिलेशनशिप को लेकर के फैमिली ट्री बन रहा था दैट इज क्लाइडोग्राम एंड ये दे आर फॉन्ड बाई यूजिंग नंबर सिस्टम एंड देन दे विल बी कॉल्ड एज डेंडोग्राम जो भी फैमिली ट्री नंबर सिस्टम को लेकर के बनेगा दैट फैमिली ट्री विल बी कॉल्ड एज डेंडोग्राम एंड हियर यूज ऑफ कंप्यूटर मीन्स एक बेसिक एडवांटेज हो गया कि वी जस्ट हैव टू पुट द नंबर एंड कोर्स and the computer will solve everything for us and it will classify uh, the plant and animal according to the matching codes and numberings okay so this is all about what numerical taxonomy and then we have cyto taxonomy na no? yes cyto taxonomy so cyto taxonomy is what cyto taxonomy can anyone tell me cyto taxonomy means what it basically includes it includes what three things chromosome number chromosome structure or we can say the the chromosome structure and chromosome behavior also chromosome structure and chromosome behavior so in tino ke basis pe by studying by studying all three features plants are classified okay many plants are there which are classified using cyto taxonomy means like ek ki kuch kuch plants aise hain ji which are having same number of chromosomes so jo plants same number of chromosomes hain they are placed in a same kind of group and those plants which are having same chromosomal structure they are placed in one other group so this way classification of plant is done the third one is what third one is what uh, chemo taxonomy chemo taxonomy means what use of some chemicals chemo taxonomy so use of chemicals like uh, use of chemicals they will use make use of some chemicals like what nucleic acids nucleic acids अब न्यूक्लिक एसिड कहाँ होता है बेसिकली डीएनए में सो दे विल यूज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ डीएनए एन आर एन ए फॉर देयर क्लासिफिकेशन दे विल स्टडी द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ डीएनए एन आर एन ए विच आर प्रेजेंट इन प्लांट एंड देन दे विल क्लासिफाई एनी प्लांट ओके दे कैन ऑल्सो यूज ऑल्सो यूज सम ऑफ प्रोटीन्स क्योंकि प्रोटीन प्लांट्स में प्रेजेंट होते हैं तो वो प्रोटीन का भी यूज कर सकते हैं फॉर देर क्लासिफिकेशन ओके एंड दिस सिस्टम ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन इज मेनली बेस्ड ऑन वॉट कि कितना केमिकल कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट एक प्लांट में प्रेजेंट है दे बेसिकली स्टडी द केमिकल कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट विच आर प्रेजेंट इन प्लांट ओके लेट मी राइट इट आल्सो। दे स्टडी द केमिकल कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट्स ऑफ प्लांट्स टू क्लासिफाई देम ओके सो न्यूमेरिकल टेक्सोनॉमी दे मेक यूज ऑफ नंबर फॉर क्लासिफाइंग ऑर्गेनिजम ऑफ प्लांट ओके like when you will study the uh, mft chapter on morphology of plant then you will see ki codes or numbers ka wahan use hua hai plant ki family ko describe karne ke liye so that kind of taxonomy is what numerical taxonomy like ye hota hai na codes and symbol ye kya hai female ka symbol fir ye kya hai male ka symbol hai sometimes there are written like bracket and now two so ek is stamen ke paas ye nine uh, kya honge nine stamens honge and they will be grouped in two so ye ek structural numbering system hota hai for understanding of any plant system this system you will study in next uh, few other chapter like chapter number 5th or something morphology of plants in that chapter you will see numerical taxonomy has been done now cyto taxonomy kya hai it is basically based on uh, internally what a cell of a plant is having like what is the chromosome number of that plant what are their chromosome structure what are their behavior with respect to the environment and what uh, is the division process that is occurring in any plant so basically we look at chromosome structure and number and behavior to dekhe jo bhi division hota hai plant ka that will come in what cyto taxonomy and the last one is what chemo taxonomy it is mainly based on the chemical constituent of the plant whatever plant is having in them chemically and whatever the chemical reaction or chemical constituents are going inside of the plant that is uh, uh, they make use of that study and uh, they will classify plants according to that okay isme chromosomic or isme kabhi confuse mat hona ki dna and rna hamesha it will come in chemo taxonomy and chromosome mein basically they are saying that dna ke andar hi chromosome present hai no chromosome की स्टडी फुल्ली अलग एक ब्रांच है दैट इज साइको टेक्सोनॉमी एंड डीएनए एंड आर एन ए की स्टडी के अकॉर्डिंग कीमो टेक्सोनॉमी सो क्वेश्चन कैन कम लाइक दिस की क्रोमोजोम स्ट्रक्चर भी ऑप्शन में देते डीएनए भी देते एंड देन विल आस्क की विच काइंड ऑफ टेक्सोनॉमी हैज बीन यूज सो कंफ्यूज नहीं होना है साइको टेक्सोनॉमी ओनली इंक्लूड द क्रोमोजोम स्ट्रक्चर नंबर एंड बिहेवियर एंड नथिंग एल्स और कीमो टेक्सोनॉमी में ही डीएनए एंड आर एन ए की स्टडी होगी ओके सो दिस मच फॉर दिस स्टूडेंट will include this only the same thing is written here also let us just quickly go through this it is carried out by quantitative assessment of similarities and differences in order to make objective assessment means ki number 
का सिस्टम नंबरिंग ऑफ यूज करते हैं कि एक प्लांट में कितना सिमिलरिटी है दूसरे प्लांट में कितना सिमिलरिटी है एंड दैट नंबर इज फीडिंग इन द कंप्यूटर सिस्टम एंड कंप्यूटर सिस्टम में वो नंबर सिस्टम को चेक करके बताएगा लाइक प्लांट ए एंड डी इज डी है एंड दीज आर कंप्यूटर रिजल्ट के अकॉर्डिंग नाइनटी एट परसेंट क्लोजली रिलेटेड है तो ये क्या हो जाएगा एक ही ग्रुप में रखाएंगे और मान लो अगर कह दिए कि ए एंड डी प्लांट है एंड दीज आर नॉट ओनली फाइव परसेंट रिलेटेड है तो दे विल बी प्लेस डिफरेंटली इन सम अदर ग्रुप सो दिस इज वॉट डन इन न्यूमेरिकल टेक्सोनॉमी एंड नंबर एंड कोर्स आर असाइन टू द कैरेक्टर्स एंड डेटा आर प्रोसेस कैरेक्टर्स गिव द इक्वल इंपॉर्टेंस जितने भी कैरेक्टर्स सबको इक्वल इंपॉर्टेंस मिलती है देन साइटो टेक्सोनॉमी क्या है It is based on psychological information like what chromosome number, structure, behavior, and the type of chromosome. Like constant, like it is species में like forty six in man, forty eight in apes, and potato twenty twenty six. So जितने भी किस कुछ कुछ species में chromosome number constant है, तो उसके study के basis पे भी ये cytotaxonomy किया जाता है. And behavior of chromosome was uh, used by taxonomists during pairing and banding pattern. ये pairing and banding pattern you will study in class twelve. एंड ये बेसिकली किस लिए होता है टू स्टडी द्यूमन ओरिजिन और टू स्टडी द प्लांट ओरिजिन फ्रॉम देयर एंसेस्टर ओके वेरियस ऑर्गेनिजम्स को ये लोग लेते हैं एक साथ पांच से छह ऑर्गेनिज्म और उसका क्रोमोजोम बाइंडिंग करते हैं और उस बाइंडिंग के बीच में देखते हैं कि इन छह ऑर्गेनिज्म या जो भी सैंपल एक्सपेरिमेंट लिया गया है उनमें कितना मैचिंग बैंड हो रहा है बेसिस ऑफ दैट मैचिंग बैंड दे आर डिवाइडिंग द एनिमल्स और स्पीशीज और प्लांट्स इन टू डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज Now, human taxonomy क्या है based on evidences from chemical constituents like enzyme, hormone, protein, amino acids, chemicals which are present in what proteins that have been established and uh, similarities which are present in plants basically here if we want to say. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Uh, I think the maths class is going to start. If you can uh, some of your questions. Yeah, I'm just. 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 So, okay. and I have to start. Yeah. Can I leave, ma'am? Yes, you both can leave because uh, I have completed my lecture for today. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Okay, bye. Bye.